What's a good word, y'all? DKB here. So it seems like this all season we've had budding stars everywhere. I mean, we've heard the reports about Ashton Davis finally making plays during a healthy offseason. Denzel Mims getting praise for what he looks like returning and making some plays on the field uh, and hopefully what is a better acclimation to this offense for him. We've heard about the hybrid tight end Lawrence Cager making two to three catches a day uh, during a time where we have a few tight ends sitting out and he's taking advantage of the opportunity. And now we're hearing about what Connor Hughes reported as the unquestionable star of the entire offseason in wide receiver Jeff Smith. So, uh, you know, I continue to be excited hearing a lot of this news. Jeff Smith has been a player that we've seen produce in spurts. And it's not like we're seeing uh, in comparison. I'll put it this way. In comparison, Everybody talks about Denzel Mims' rookie year. Uh, I think he was like 367 yards, something like that. Um, and it, we know what that Adam Gaze offense looked like that season. In comparison, Jeff Smith in the three seasons that he's had with us so far has not eclipsed Denzel Mims' rookie total. So uh, I think Jeff Smith's around 297 receiving yards, something like that. Last season, though, was one of his best. Um, he had less targets than he did in 2020. He was still able to outproduce that, and I think he had like 14.1 yards per catch. So he definitely took advantage of the opportunities that uh, injuries everywhere impacting the roster afforded him. And that's all you can really ask for, especially as a guy that really is wide receiver number five, wide receiver number six, um, but a special teams ace. So this may be the season where he finally looks to jump up the board along with Denzel Mims. So I think it's going to be an interesting battle because a lot of people think it's going to be one or the other. Uh, either Jeff Smith with the advantage of having special teams and this kind of breakout off season for him will find a way to take some of those snaps that we expect Denzel Mims to get. Uh, hopefully bumping out the need for like a Braxton Berrios or replacing a Corey Davis down the line. Um, or Denzel Mims will will uh, finally secure his roster spot uh, and his status as a second round pick. But regardless of that, Jeff Smith, uh, very interesting background. I, I love the athleticism that he shows on tape. Uh, and it, we've seen it with some of the plays he's been able to make. So his background, he was a previous uh, quarterback actually in high school. Uh, played quarterback sparingly uh, his freshman year and then sophomore year he converted to wide receiver and that's where he's been focused at ever since so we're talking about somebody that has the athleticism but is still relatively new to the position uh, which I think speaks a lot about what we've seen him be able to produce because not everybody has that uh, uh, dynamic ability to see their skill set translate to another position um, he could essentially be a very light version of like a Taysom Hill for us because he can essentially be a backup emergency quarterback. Uh, let's say if everybody absolutely went down in some kind of freak injury. Um, but he also allows that ability. He's been able to, he was kind of a dual threat quarterback. So we can get him in there, which they tried to one attempt. It just didn't really work out uh, in the running game. But then as a wide receiver, he's probably officially coming into his own. You know, everybody talks about the game slowing down uh, and then finally be able to just go out there and let their natural athletic traits speak for itself. So it'll be an interesting battle. If this continues into training camp, I think the discussion does change, especially depending on what happens with Denzel Mims with how do we officially start incorporating this guy now? He is going to be an unrestricted free agent and he's playing under a million dollars now. So the keys are in his, his hand this season uh, to kind of turn the fate of uh, his Jets tenure with us around. Maybe he can secure himself a Braxton Berrios type contract and, and you know, bump himself up to maybe the fourth wide receiver on the depth chart, uh, potentially replacing Corey Davis like we expect Denzel Mims to do. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Do you love, hate Jeff Smith? Uh, do you guys think that he's just kind of this special teams core player that we need um, and offering a little bit ability or is there more juice there? Catch you guys again. Peace.